Where is this place? Well, I thought this place was the summary. Am I inside my memories? Let's remember things one step at a time. That's how we summarize stuff. I'm, have, I'm in my mind palace. This is me. My name is Sarah Chidoin. It all began when I was coming home from school with my friend Joe Tazuna. My bro! My bro is not alive anymore. Suddenly, a stalker appeared. We ran in fear of being attacked and arrived home. But someone was lurking there and knocked us unconscious. So are we to assume that the person who kidnapped us was... What's his face? I can't remember his name right now. Kai, I think? We woke up in an unfamiliar room. Tied to beds and with collars put on us, we were forced to solve a puzzle of, for our lives. That was the first trial. Waiting for us after we got through the trial were nine people of varying age, gender, and occupation. Still not knowing what was what, we all cooperated to escape this place and evaded traps trying to take our lives. But... Due to an unfair move from the suddenly appearing floor master, Sumaili, the laughing doll. <laughs> Professor Kazumi Mishima died. We also met up with a murderer who had been hiding, Alice Yabusame. Who supposedly killed that asshole dude, but he's alive somehow. And began a vote with our lives at stake, the main game. Two cards decided our fates. The Sage, and the Sacrifice. The ones who had them were... Kaisato, my stalker who held some sort of key to the death game, and... My best friend, Joe. And so Joe was killed, in the cruelest of ways. In my crumbling heart, someone's voice echoes. I entrust them to you, our regrets, our hopes. There, my senses gave out again. I feel like the game kind of made a mistake by killing Joe first, because like, now why would I care about anyone else? I feel like rational- well not rationally, illogically, at this point, you would just care about yourself and try to save yourself. Touch a person to review each person's actions prior to chapter 2. Okay, cool. Let's review everyone's sad backstory, I guess. So, Hiyori, a self-described job hopper- wait, is it gonna be the same? As like chapter one, or they actually tell about what they did. He was a timid looking man who spoke with a smile. Though, unbelievably, weak for an adult man, and seeming as if he disliked conflict, everything about him gives off a darkness. Yeah, he was hiding all the evilness underneath. He was very shocked to be attacked by Nao and have the laptop clue stolen from him. In the main game, so lost trust and transform, seemingly filled with malice and madness. The sight struck fear and hatred into the survivors. So you're saying the game changed him? I feel like that was him all along, but I don't know. That's just my opinion. KG Shinogi, a suspicious man calling himself a policeman. Yeah, the utmost suspicious, but everyone else is also very suspicious. Acts casual, but feels somehow shady. He often seems to be guiding others into giving Sarah the trust. This is so crazy. Every time like I think the game is like being unaware, it's actually very una very aware. Because that is how I feel. He's so shady, but he keeps trying to place trust in Sarah for some strange reason. Confess that he once shot a person, and hasn't been able to fire a gun since. He promised Sarah he'd tell her his past, if they survived the main game. But who knows? I mean, we did survive the main game, right? You can't be like, oh, at the very end of this game. Kana Kizuchi, a middle school girl, lost her older sister in the first trial. Filled with self-loathing after losing her sister, Sarah and Mishima told her a kind lie, but Miley's sister killer remark meant it only wounded her more. In the main game, Kana notably made statements implying she was working with So. What might have transpired between the two of them is unknown. Well, they're scheming. <laughs> That's what. Now, Egokoro, an art student in college, respects her high school teacher, Professor Mishima, has a deep relationship of trust with Mishima, and beat the first trial by cooperating with him. After losing Mishima in the so-called practice vote, now ran amok, stuffing his head in a box and fleeing. Threatened by Kai, she attacks So to get Kai the laptop, but because Mishima's head disappeared, she realized Kai betrayed her. Because he took it? Like, what's happening? 
Kazumi Mishima, a high school teacher who looks extremely suspicious, but is really a man of noble character. Deeply trusting of his former student now, together they conquered their first trial. But not taking any chances regarding his student, he gathered votes for himself in the practice round and thus lost his life. This threw Nao's heart into disarray, making her lose control, stuff Mishima's head in a box, and flee. Yeah, that was a whole mess. Ugh, my bro, my Joe! Joe Tazuna, protagonist Sarah's classmate, a cheerful and agreeable best friend. He clumsily tried to assist Sarah after learning of her stalker, Sarah's lone acquaintance in a death game. And now I got no one. His fate was sealed by drawing the sacrifice card. At the end of the main game, he left a remark, All of you must be good people. Then perish. <laughs> like the meme? Perish. <laughs> then perish. Sarah Chidoin, protagonist of the story, a normal high school girl attending Sonobeno High School. Coming home from school, she encounters her stalker. When she hurries home, she finds her mother collapsed. And I still don't know what's going on there. Are they dead? Are they still alive? She comes to in an unknown room. And during various death games with 11 participants, Sarah wins their trust. But in the main game, she loses her best friend Joe. With the deaths of high school teacher Mishima and homemaker Kai, there remain nine survivors. Yes, nine to kill off. Gin Ibushi, a somewhat cheeky grade school boy who, who ends his sentences with Woof and Meow. Adores big sister Sarah and acted tough through the harsh death games, but was wracked with fear upon being trapped in a cage. The paper Gin found in the shredder revealed the truth that Alice Yabusame was a murderer. Indeed. Reiko Yabusame, a singer-songwriter starting to get enough attention to appear in magazines. A flashy b band player worried for her dear bongos, kind to the weak and often, and often harsh on men. Because of her bongos, of course, I bet a man stole it. In the main game, revealed Alice was her brother. Ever since Alice committed murder, the two became effective strangers. But why the murder? Kyutaro Burgerberg, according to him, a baseball player on the verge of a comeback. Despite his giant gaudy appearance, he's very wary. Apparently he was raised in an odd orphanage, so his dialect is all over the place. Found his resolve faster than anyone in the main game, showing a willingness to doubt others to survive. Unable to fully believe Kai's parting confession of having contact with the kidnappers, he's showing signs of looking into the truth. Okay. I feel like maybe we're all connected in some strange way. Kai Sato, a self-proclaimed homemaker, but also an extremely skilled fighter. Really? Is he? How did he prove that? I didn't see it. In spite of the aloof impression he gave, Sarah remembered, th Sarah remembered that Kai was the stalker who came after her that day. Threatened now and took the laptop from So, and it's suspected he hit the Mishima head, now was protecting somewhere. Oh, so that is what happened? That's weird. I, don't, I didn't really get that from the previous chapters. Confessed to having contact with the kidnappers in the main game, but shows clear hostility toward the kidnapper Miley. So reviewed emails indicating ties to the Chidoins, Sarah's family, and an affection for Sarah, but killed as a victim. Can the truth about Kai be known? Uh, who knows? Bet we'll never know. Alice Yabusume, a murderer who lied that he was a thief named Gombi Yamada. While the other survivors endured traps, he locked himself alone in the red room, hiding there until Sarah found him. In the main game, he confessed to being Alice Yabusume, a murderer, and Eiko's older brother. Furthermore, after the main game, Alice discussed something with Keiji. The name of the person I killed was So Hiyori. And I feel like you should remember the face of the person you killed. The laughing doll, Sumaili. A woman with the kidnappers. When her scattered doll body was assembled, the room suddenly went white as she began to move. Calling herself the floor master, she explains the main game and distributes necessary tools for the death game. With malicious words and actions, she puzzles the participants and takes their lives, and destroys the hearts of Kana and Sarah. Kai and Kyutaro's resistance has made her bleed, and she's often chagrin. Is she really a doll? Well, she's not human in any case. She could be... cyborg of some kind? I don't know. It's too much mystery still to be uncovered. Um... Sorry. Muscle Gorilla. Who's- <laughs> what? Who is this? Fixes Sarah. Okay, it's the kid then. One of the kids.
M mom Has it been like a day? I don't even know how long time, like how much time has passed. Excuse me. Oh, we're doing, uh, we're diving into the past again. I have brought your lunch. Oh, thank you. What if he was like some kind of weird former like homemaker for the Chidoins? Which is still weird, but I don't know what's going on between them. Kai, you got a minute? Y yes Kai, how many years it's been since you came here? Hmm, how many indeed? Surely it's been quite a long time. Is that my, my dad? My super rich dad? <laughs> That's why I want to give you this, you hard worker. What is this? Go on, go on. Try it on. Is it an apron? It's a freaking apron. Whoa, suits you pretty well, eh? What, uh, what exactly led to... Come on now, it's a present. And he's worn it ever since, like my best bro Joe, when I gave him that dog keychain. My wife and Sarah live safely, thanks to you. Well, what? Kinda weird, what's going on here? Uh, so you mean to state your feelings of gratitude? Nope. This isn't about gratitude as your employer. That apron belonged to my own mom. And now you have it for some re strange reason. Because I kept the apron all these years. In other words, it proves your initiation into the tradition of homemakers. Okay, dad. Homemakers? As well as your bond with the Chidoin family. Okay, it's weird that he's was the former homemaker of our family somehow, and yet I don't know him at all. So much suspicious stuff going on here. To me? Your family. I am... family? My wife thinks the same way. She suggested I give you that as a gift, in fact. Sh surely you just... someone such as me. And then you betrayed us, Kai? After we gave you that fabulous apron? <laughs> Whoa, what's the matter? It's nothing. His eyes are super red. <laughs> Your eyes are red. Don't tell me you were crying. W whatever are you saying? Makes me happy. <laughs> Dad is a weirdo. If it comes to it, I'm trusting you with Sarah. Maybe you shouldn't. Someday that girl will learn I'm not her real father. <gasps> what? That girl's destiny has so much potential for change that I've put my own life on the line. It's far from trifling. But I've got no worries. Because our family's got a hero who protects her from the shadows. You are in involved in some shady business, aren't you? Please don't say hero. I am nothing but a traitor. I will remain a shadow, never known, and just continue to protect Miss Sarah. Such is my affection. But... This... This apron. I will use it with care. I will treasure it. Affection? Oh, whoa! Holy crap, Fre freaky, creepy, creepy! I may have trusted her to you, but I won't give you my daughter. Never. Uh, master? Daughter. Daughter! He's a zombie! When it comes to Miss Sarah, he loses sight of all else indeed. Ah, uh, freaky! Creepy as hell! What's going on here? From this angle as well, I must continue to watch over Miss Sarah. Yes, my angle. My one true angle. I wonder if she is focusing on her studies now. Yeah, maybe keep Demon Dad away from me. Hey, Sarah. Sarah. What? Joe? Face four, we're in class. It's weird that they're showing us all this insight into characters that are dead or not available, and I'm just like, what am I supposed to do with this information? I heard they open up, open up a super good kebab place. Let's go there on the way home. I'll treat ya. Okay, fine. You're so loud. Now is not the time to talk. Oh, and hey, in exchange? I get it. I'll bring Ryoko too. Huh? For real? No, that's not what I meant. Seriously, quiet. What are you trying to say? <laughs> Please show me your homework, Madam Sarah. We're in class, remember? Of course I'm not going to lend it to you. <laughs> Just for a second, I'm fast at copying. That's not a skill deserving praise. Sorry, but I can't. It's called homework? Your fault for not doing it at home. You should have copied it when we were at home, dude. Ugh, you're right, but... Do homework at home? Come on, man. 
And besides, I'm dead. Wow. These are some dark nightmares. Huh? I died because you questioned me, you know? Don't you feel any responsibility? And I suffered a long time because of you too, right? You get anything I say to that? Okay, fine, Joe, you copy my homework. I... I... I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> what are you sorry for? You damn murderer. Well, I wouldn't go that far. I technically didn't murder you. No, I... I just had to move forward. I did the most I could. There's so much guilt everywhere. And this is how it turned out? I protected everyone. I did. Yeah, see, and now it's time to be selfish. Protect only yourself. But I died. Kai died too. But... But... Just stop it already, Joe. Please. Please. You wanna look away? Oh... That is creepy as hell. <laughs> yeah, I don't wanna look you in the eye, dude. You don't have eyes. Pant, pant, what, why, what is this luxurious room? A dream. That was just a dream. Was it though? Maybe there's something supernatural going on. I need to calm down. I need to. Ugh, my head is spinning. Where is this? I don't know. Why is there a room here? This is so strange. Let's save. Let's save. Do I have anything? No, I have nothing. Wow, your eyes are shot. I can see my reflection in the window. What an awful face. I look lifeless. Yeah, a little bit. Enough. There's no time to be looking in the mirror. Sarah. Eh? God, I'm hearing voices of the dead. <gasps> oh, jeez. Am I still dreaming? Girl? Why you- Oh, okay. You're still dreaming? Can you please wake up? How long are you gonna run? All of a sudden, there's a horror game. Can I please leave this room? The light went out. No, it didn't. Oh god, there's blood everywhere. A bright light illuminates the room. Hey, dead Joe. How you feeling, bro? Die with me, Sarah. Oh, great. You're still dreaming. It's a dream within a dream. Professor Mishima. That's why the room is so luxurious. Because it wasn't real. Kai. Jeez! You... You aren't Joe. This is... Just a nightmare. Remember your food was like drugged and you're having weird hallucinations? So cold, man. Aren't we best friends? Shut up! I'm, a, I'm friends with the alive Joe. <laughs> Break the mirror and run out of the room. Well, I don't know if this is dream or hallucinations, but I probably don't want to go around breaking mirrors, so I'm just gonna run out of the room. You really shouldn't go that way. What? What? Ugh. Did I just kill myself? What the freaking hell? A sharp pain spread through my body. It, it hurts. Help me. Someone. I'll make you more comfortable. Stop. I can't breathe, Joe. This is the longest nightmare ever. I love you, Sarah. S Stop. Sarah. Get a grip, Sarah. Okay, I'm still in this fabulous room, apparently, but it was a long nightmare. Can you understand me? Uh, KG. Yep, you're a friendly policeman in the flesh. The room is still clean. Ow! Did I go running around and hurt myself? Well, at least you just ran into something rather than break a whole mirror. Show me your wounds. Heard some pretty loud noises. Something happened? I was having hallucinations. Um... I saw an illusion of Joe, and some other people. So you had a hallucination of Joe? Yes. Glad you didn't get any major injuries. Come on, sit down on the bed. What if those necklaces can also like inject, inject us with like some weird drug stuff? You never know. Where is this place? This is the third floor. There's rooms prepared here. One for each person. In other words, get some rust. This is a tall ass building, so like... The first floor was where we appeared, the second floor was the game, I'm assuming? And now the third floor is rooms. Oh, I see. Uh, how long did I sleep? Wait, were we searching for? How long did I sleep? Hmm, no clocks around, so... But everyone else is still resting. You should rest yourself, Sarah. You've come this far without a break. You at least deserve to sleep. I don't... 
wanna sleep. What? Uh, I don't wanna stay with you either. I still don't trust you, dude. Let's move around, I think. No way. I can't let go into danger. Please move aside. I'd rather that than lying down alone. Whew. Alright, fine. I'll lend you a shoulder. Rest just a little more. Understood. So I am sleeping. Sarah. Not at off, eh? Uh... Why does everyone have the creepiest expression in this chapter? Well, shucks. You too, huh, Sarah? You can't acknowledge the hallucinations. What? Once they're burned into your brain. So you have some too, huh? Don't end up like Mr. Policeman. Oh, am I you now? Because that would be interesting. Looks like you managed to rest some. Nah, I'm still myself. Yes, thank you very much. Wanna go show your face to everyone? They're worried, so... Yes. You want a picture of mom? No. Nope. What is this little project? You gotta, you gotta put it in the side quest. I don't know what you want. 